English. It isn't an option, but why would you want it to be? AQA GCSE English, two qualifications. GCSE English Language and GCSE English Literature. GCSE English Language is two exams, both one hour and 45 minutes long. Paper one, you are given a fiction extract. For section A, you answer four questions based on the extract. And then for section B, you complete a piece of creative writing linked to the theme. You have a choice of two questions. For paper two, you have two non-fiction extracts. For section A, you answer four questions based on the extracts. For section B, you do a piece of transactional writing, so a newspaper article, a letter, a leaflet, etc. on a theme. GCSE English Literature, two exams. Paper one is one hour, 45 minutes, and it's Shakespeare and the 19th century novel. For section A, you answer one question, which is an extract and whole text question on Shakespeare. And for section B, you answer one question, which again is an extract and whole text question on the 19th century novel. For paper two, it's two hours and 15 minutes, and it's modern texts and poetry. For section A, you get a choice of questions on your modern text. You answer one. For section B, you answer the conflict poetry comparison question. And for section C, you answer one question on an unseen poem and one unseen poetry comparison question. Your literature texts. For paper one, you do Shakespeare and the 19th century novel. You will be studying Romeo and Juliet and then either Jekyll and Hyde or The Sign of Thor. And then for paper two, it's modern texts and poetry, and you will be studying either an inspector course or Blood Brothers, both of which are plays, and the conflict section of the AQA anthology of poetry. And that's it. That's your English GCSE in a nutshell. Studying English helps to develop skills that you'll need in everyday life. Here's the English team to talk more about developing those skills. Social skills. For all the introverts out there, studying English gives us stronger social skills as reading can be likened to using our mind's flight simulator. In the same way pilots can practice without leaving the ground, reading and studying writing can help our social skills as we start to consider the perspectives and experiences of others within the comfort of a fictional experience. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. As Charles Dickens once said, the most important thing in life is to stop saying I wish and start saying I will. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. There is no friend as loyal as a book. Studying English language and English literature develops creativity and imagination. By immersing yourself in diverse texts, you can explore places, times and concepts beyond your personal experience and even beyond reality. If you limit yourself to what you know, you will only ever achieve what you've already achieved. Through your imagination, you can create something new. Literature makes the impossible possible. George Bernard Shaw once said, the single biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it has taken place. It turns you into a language magician, Expelliarmus. Studying English not only supports you in your entry to further education, but it will help you in the world of dating, persuading others that you're always right, and equip you with the words to put down even the sharpest of tongues. It's like a superpower. Well, almost. Studying English broadens your horizons. At English Language GCSE, you'll be reading a diverse range of articles, letters, lyrics and autobiographies, introducing you to people, places and perspectives which will open your eyes to the abundance of opportunities and experiences that life has to offer and may even encourage you to pursue a path that you haven't thought of before. Albert Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited to all that we know and understand, while imagination embraces the entire world and all we will ever be able to know and understand. The world can be a bit stressful, can be loud, can be noisy, can be a bit overwhelming, uh, but also the world can be wonderful. And that is why I love to read. And that's why I come and sit in my garden every day, even if it's just for 10 minutes and have a little read, because it helps to shut some of that noise out and reminds us that the world is wonderful. And most importantly, that we are never, ever alone. Um, so yeah, keep reading. 
Communication skills are the key to unlocking your future both academically and socially. Communication skills incorporate reading and writing, speaking and listening. Future friendships and relationships can be cemented by your ability to empathise with others. This means really listening to what is being communicated and responding appropriately. Critical thinking. English allows you to examine the world around you. It gives you the strength and the ability to question what you're being told and then make your own informed decisions. It allows you to examine your actions and the actions of others and strive to make the world a much better place. English is a subject that offers so much more than you expect it to. When I found my love of English and my love of literature, I found out who I was. English can be used as a form of escapism to get away from the reality of our lives and where we are. And at some stage, that's something that we all want and we all need. English allows us to explore people and places and cultures and worlds even that we wouldn't normally get the chance to experience. It doesn't matter where you come from, how old you are, whether you are male, female, what your background is. English and literature, they're a magic that we should all share and we can all share and we should all share, always. Henley and Arden School, achieving excellence together.